Hey everyone. So today I have another tutorial for you all. It's this look that I've got on now. It's a gold and purple look and it's really quite dramatic and quite defined. So yeah, um, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Uh, the gold and the purple work really well together because they are complementary colours. And this is great for both blue eyes and green eyes. Green eyes in particular because that purple really makes it pop. I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll talk to you all later. Bye. Okay, so first of all we're going to apply Ruben F Paint Pot all over the movable lid. Just using our finger. It's just easier to blend that way. Then we're going to take Blonde's Gold Pigment and press that all over the Ruben F Paint Pot. Then we're just going to blend that off. Then we're going to take Circa Plum from the new uh, Rose Romance collection. And we're just going to use that as a base on the outer corner of our eye. Then we're going to take Makeup Forever's number 92 purple and we're just going to provide the shape for our, for our eyeshadow design. So you want to start with a little bit of product and build it up as you go because you can always add more but it's harder to take it away. And by putting this on top of the Circa Plum, you're actually getting a deeper, a deeper colour concentration as well. Now with our 239, we want to take this purple and we want to just flick it up in the crease just to get that definition there. And this will also begin to blend the colour as well. And we want to constantly blend this colour just so we're getting a nice graduation and no stopping and starting. You want to get a really nice blend between the gold and the purple as well. Now with this particular design we want the shadow to wing out at the sides for a more dramatic look as well. Then we're going to take a little bit more of the Circa Plum and we're just going to blend out the edges with that. And this provides a really nice purple sheen as well.
Now with a pencil brush, we're just going to apply that same purple under our lower lash line. And we want the colour under our eyes to be really quite built up and quite intense. Next we're going to take Max Burnt Burgundy Pigment on our pencil brush. And we're just going to define the crease and the outer corner. Just slowly building up that colour. And we want to extend the burnt burgundy into the very outer corner of the lower lash line. Just to give it a little more intensity. Then with our pencil brush, we're just going to take a little bit of a matte black and add it to the very outer corner down the bottom there. And that just adds a little bit more depth. Now under the eye we're going to take a little bit of the Circa Plum on our pencil brush and just blend off the end of that purple. Then we're going to clean off our brush. We're going to take a little bit more of the Blondes Gold and we're just going to take that around the tear duct area and blend it along the inner part of the lash line. Next for our eyeliner, we're just going to take an angle brush there and we're going to use our matte black shadow and we're just going to apply that along the lash line. Because our eyeshadow is so dramatic, we don't want a really harsh line to kind of overemphasize the eyes. So we're going to line the inner rim with a gel, but first we'll go with the powder on the top. So you just press that black into the lashes there. And you do that all the way along. Then we're just going to take our smudge pot and we're going to line the inner rims, both the bottom and underneath. And that's going to add volume to the lashes and it's also just going to really define the eye. Okay, then we're going to curl our lashes. And I'm just going to use Prescriptive's Beyond Long Mascara. And that just really defines the lashes and helps to separate them as well while giving a really nice thick coating. And that's it for the eyes. For blush, I'm just going to apply a bit of Nars's Orgasm. Because it's really natural to go with the really dramatic eye. And this is with the Nars Yachio brush. Then for lips, I'm just going to take a little bit of Date Night Dazzle Glass. And we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.